Hey peeps, I got a request to make a Telework Tips video for Windows hotkeys. And I thought, oh, there's too many, and I didn't do it for like a week, and then I realized, why don't I just say like the top 10 or so that I do every single day that make it so that I could fly through all the screens, get a whole bunch of work done. And it's funny because if someone's over my shoulder and they're like, hey, can you do a thing? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, da, 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 da. it's done. No, it's not. I didn't see you do it. Did you blink? Or did you let your eyes water over while you watched me do it? Lol. No, these are for you. Pay attention and watch. I'm going to give you a quick example. I've decided I'm going to share this doc publicly so that you could see this quick list that I'm going over in this video. And I want to put the link in the description. So what I do is I get my folder up and let's say I make a new text document. I usually do this with my videos. Any links I want to put in the description, I put a little notes thing. And then I hit Control V to paste, Control S to save, and Alt F4 to close it. Unless I'm still going to add stuff to it later. You know what I mean? Let's we'll start with Alt D. Alt D takes you to the address bar of file browsers and web browsers. So I'm in this file browser, Alt D. I'm up at the top. Let's see, I need to go back to my ASMR video that I'm working on. ASMR. See how I did that? I never touched the mouse. I can hit Alt left to go back to where I was. And that's the equivalent of clicking the back button. It also works in a web browser because I got Firefox over here. Alt D. I don't want to look at this web page anymore. I could type something else. Google.com. Alt left. Go back where I was. Isn't that nice? So this is Alt D. Go to the address bar. If you don't know what the address bar is, you use too many bookmarks. I'm sorry, I did go over bookmarks in my last video, but you should also know how to open a browser and navigate. F5 is refresh. Let's see, I'm google.com and I'm Googling for stuff and things. Dang it, stupid zombie show, you stole my phrase. I was saying stuff and things long before The Walking Dead says me, let's say, I wanted to refresh this page because something wrong with it or I want to get updated information. F5 refreshes it. That also works in a file browser. F5, you see that blink over there, that flash? It's double checking that what you're seeing is the latest information. Like maybe some files got synchronized or moved. It'll show you the new ones. Control D, now that's new bookmark. Control D. See that? Control D and it brings up and it says saved in the library because I did that so fast. I'm sorry, I did that so fast. So let's say I'm at google.com, control D, and I got Google, and it goes into bookmarks. Okay, hit done, and it makes a bookmark there. That is my most previous video. If you want to learn more about managing bookmarks, I recommend you check that out. So control S. Now this one is the most important one of all time. That one, is save. If you got another program that Control S is doing another function, well, then whoever made that program doesn't know what they're doing because Control S has been around since Windows has been around, probably like 1987 or maybe even before that. Maybe it was another operating system before that. Control S is save. Save early and save often. I'll give you an example. I have this file open. I wrote stuff and things. If I hit Control S, I haven't saved it yet. So it's going to ask me, where am I going to save it? So I can hit browse and put stuff and things dot doc and check, check it out. I'm in a file browser. If I hit alt D, I'm up there. So I can go see video and save it as stuff and things in that folder. Save. But I want to blah, 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 and it wants to ask me if I want to save it because I haven't saved it since I went blibbity blobbity all up in it. But if I hit Control S first, Control S, and then close, it doesn't bug me because it's saved. Now, here's an interesting one. Alt F A. I'm actually going to bring the stuff and things file back up. Alt F A. Alt F A. I learned this a long time ago, like in the 90s. All it is is a sequence because, you know, programs back then, you press Alt to get up here, right? Up to these options up here, you just press Alt on your keyboard. Firefox is a good example. Alt, now we're up here. So like Alt T, 
Oh, what am I doing? All I'm doing is reading the underlined letters. I want tools, so I'm going to press T and then O. Well, Alt F A is your save as menu and save as is your most favorite friend in the whole world because it lets you choose where the file is going. So if I went Alt F A again, I'm just going Alt looking at the letters. I see F and then I see A for save as. And then, oh, look, there's browse. I can go ahead and hit the next thing. O for browse. Oh, there we go. Alt D and you get the point. Control F, this is for searching things. Let's say I'm in this page and I want to go, I want to go to the next line that says OS in it, Control F. And this find and sheet thing appears. I type OS and press enter until I go to the one I want. So I'll say I'm on this page and Cambridge. Cambridge is way down there at the end. And I hit Control F and I type Cambridge. Now it's highlighted what it's found and I press enter to see if there's another one. And it cycles through the two that it sees. Now if there's like 15 in the page, it'll go like this through each one and then go back to the top. Control F is search. It's like most programs in the world have that. The next one is Alt Tab. What that does is allow you to switch between the most recent program you had open. Believe it or not, there was a time in history when people didn't have two monitors and they couldn't go like this to read both. They just alt tabbed right like that. So let's say I have Brave open with Star Trek and I find something I'm looking for and I hit alt tab. Now I'm back in my spreadsheet. Alt tab, alt tab, alt tab. The trick is you hold alt then you press tab and then you let go of both. I'll say that again. You hold alt, you press tab, and then you let go of both, but you do it real fast. But if you hold on to alt and then let go of tab, you now have this menu and you could cycle and find the one you want. Oh, there's my stuff and things doc and go back. Alt tab, alt tab. Oh, I need to go back to that other thing two screens ago, alt tab tab. And there I am. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. If there's something that's interesting, I recommend you rewind. Here's a hotkey for YouTube. Press J, it goes back 10 seconds. Press L, it goes forwards 10 seconds. I do this a lot when I'm watching the instructional video in YouTube, and I'm like, oh, I need that part. I press J so I can hear it again. Like this video if you've been informative so far, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Shift Alt Tab. Let's go to the next app. Shift Alt tab, shift, alt tab, shift, alt tab, shift, alt tab. And I'm actually psyching through all kinds of stuff over here on my right screen. Try that one on your own. That's a little harder to explain. Alt tab and then another tab is what I showed you here. Control tab. This goes in between instances in one program. So this is Google Cheats. And I have a Google web page over here, and I'm clicking with the mouse, but I don't have to click with the mouse. I can press Control Tab to go in between them. Let's see, I have all these tabs open, and this one's at yahoo.com, and this one's at this Nova website, and this one is on my YouTube page, and this one is on pixie.org. Control Tab to go through them to cycle through them. That saves me loads of time, especially when I'm working on my tickets for my IT job. And if I want to go back one tab instead of to the next one, it's control shift tab. Another super helpful program to do this with is Excel. Let's say you got a log of all the work you got to do in one day and you've got another Excel spreadsheet with like, say a number that says you need to do this particular case number. And you're in there and you hit control C to copy that cell. And then you hit control tab to go to the other spreadsheet and then you use arrow keys to get to the right cell and you hit control v to paste it's magic and it takes much less seconds than it takes to reach over and grab this and do little figure eights all over the screen like where am i going where am i going except drawing a figure eight on the screen with my mouse for no reason wasting my time when you just Memorize a couple hotkeys and it'll save you to loads of time. It'll add up to minutes that you can use to step away from your desk and take periodic breaks so that you don't get as strong of headaches. And to even reduce your headaches some more than that, 
I recommend getting some blue light blocking glasses and I have a video that I'll put a card up here for you to click on or a link in the description so that you can check that out. Now Windows D, this is show the desktop. I actually don't recommend you do this very often. You should actually find ways to load the programs you need to load without going to the desktop, like opening the start menu with the start button on the keyboard and then typing the name of the program you want. Like Chrome's not in here anywhere that I can visibly see unless I drill down, but I could just type the word Chrome and there it is. It's highlighted. I could press enter the new, open a new window, and then I could close it with the hotkey, which I'm gonna go over in a second. But Windows button D, if you absolutely need it, does that. Do it again, everything comes back, like magic. And Windows button L is the magical, oh my God, I'm gonna die. What do I do now? The computer's locked, lol. And Windows button R is a little bit more advanced. That brings up this guy right here. Or you can type commands like you can open that. Or let's see if Chrome works. Yeah, Windows button R. Let's try Explorer, which is File Explorer. Yeah, that, that works. What about Explore C Video? See, it told it to go to C Video. I use Windows button R also for copy pasting a single line of text when I want to strip the formatting of something. Like say something's bold and italic in, in stupid Comic Sans font. And you're like, I need those words, but I don't want it to look like puke when I copy paste it into Excel, right? So let's say, let's just Google some puke on the internet. Some puke on the internet, lol. Um, guy panic text his wife after there's sun pukes everywhere. I really need this guy panic text his wife into my spreadsheet. So control tab over to that. Oh no, I just ruined my spreadsheet with this garbage text. Control Z to undo. Windows button R to open the run box. Control V to paste it in the run box. Control A to select all text. Control C to copy the plain text that it's now in there. Escape to close the run box. Control V. I have to click right there. Control V to paste plain text. Now watch how I, how fast I do this IRL. That's short for in real life low. So I'm on this page. Doop. Guy behind it, Texas wife. Oh my God. Seriously, it's that easy. Now Control W and Alt F4. These are really important too, especially when it's time to go home or it's time to finish your shift or you're totally done with that program and you don't want it to keep eating up your system's memory so that you can do other things. Control W is the close to current instant. So let's say you have three tabs open in this browser, Firefox. I'm done reading this garbage about somebody puking and freaking someone else out. Control W, go away tab. And I'm done with my Google page for that same topic. Control W, go away tab. And I've been working on my ASMR video today. So what do we got here? ASMR, I Googled it, I moved that, and that's all the tabs in there. I'm completely done with that browser and I want to close it. Alt F4. Now, Alt F4 is the program you want to be the most careful with because not all programs close this way. Some programs have to be closed from their little status icons down here in a, in a section of the windows called the system tray. You have to right click it and hit exit like that option it has there for OBS or whatever, or RTX voice, you have to hit quit. There's some programs at my job that are like that. Also, there are some that even if you don't see it on the screen, they're still running, they're rare. I have one program like that at work. And that one, you have to file and then log out because it actually doesn't run on the computer and you don't realize it when they log into it. They're not logging into the program on the computer, they're logging into it on the server. And even if your computer's off, it keeps running and you have to hit file, log out. Just to something I have to, deal with. I digress. So that's it for this video. Should be really short and sweet. And I hope that you bookmark this video and go over it a couple times or at least bookmark this document that I'm sharing in the description below so that you can refer to it every few days until you get it all mesmerized. Because what you do, you'll be like blown away how many minutes you're saving in the day. So thanks for watching. I've been Robert Jean. Up here, I'm going to put my video 
from last week where we went over how to manage browser bookmarks. And up here, I'm going to put my most recent video that I did with my son, Charlie. And if you want to talk to me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, that stuff is down here. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, that's right here. So thanks for watching. Bye.